Hello, hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Suhei with Suhei Plans. And today we're gonna just walk through my personal rings planner. Um, there's been a few changes since my last video and I just wanted to kind of check in and show you how things are going. Um, some of you might know, um, or probably not, but I recently adopted a puppy. My family and I recently adopted a puppy and we are excited and tired. Um, and I haven't had a ton of time for planning or journaling, not to my, the usual consistency that I prefer, but that's okay. We're really excited to add a new member of our family and we're just kind of adjusting. So some of these things in here haven't been updated and that's okay. This is real life planning and that's really what I'm here to share. All right, so let's jump in. So I've got some October deco from the Infinite Lotus sub box. I have a calendar card, some October intentions. I have some sticker sheets for the month of October that I need to use because these are all Halloween themed stuff. And then just a sticky notepad that I like to keep in there. Calendar card and some deco that's there for the month of October. I picked up this really cute New York um, sticker from Planner Monkey, no, from Coffee Monsters Co. And I just really like it there and I don't really know where else to put it. So dashboard from Infinite Lotus, little Ollie clip holding it all together. So a lot of this deco hasn't changed. I have a $2 bill, photo of me and my husband. This is a planning routine a printable that I created on Canva that I like to use as a reference, picture of the kids, and then we jump into a schedule. Have a year at a glance. I love this. I'm probably gonna pick up the 2025 version from Noted Co. Another dashboard from Infinite Lotus. And then I added a future planner um, to the very front of this. This is an insert from Wise Coffee Break. And I just have 2025, 20, 26, 27, 28. I'm really not that forward thinking, but I think it's good to get into the habit. So I've started that very recently. In 2025, I have my 10 year wedding anniversary and my 40th birthday. So those are some big things. I can't speak for 26, 27 or 28, but that's okay. After that, we go into a more like micro view and I just have July. Uh, I started this planner in about June, May. Um, and then I just have the next couple of months and some things I want to think about when I'm thinking ahead. As you see, I don't think ahead that much. I don't know, like maybe that's a bad thing, but I think it's good to, to just have it. And the more I see it, maybe hopefully the more I'll use it. Um, and I do use it some. Right, but like I haven't gotten past November. I need to reseal the countertops in November. Yeah, anyways. So after that, and a spread that I use a lot more, honestly, is a weekend planner. I work Monday through Fridays, and so weekends I just have more time for things. And so I have, I do a lot of future planning for weekends with these inserts. And those have been really, really helpful. After that, I have an annual perpetual calendar that I use for days off of work, um, sick days, and days off of school for my kids. After that, I have my kids' calendar, um, school schedules. They're at a school where they go from classroom to classroom, and so I kind of like to know what classroom they're in and who they're with at any given time, and so I keep their schedules in here. Just have a few notes when some monthly bills are due. I always like to keep that up front. And we jump into our, these are plotter inserts, month on two page. For 2025, I'm very much looking forward to using one kind of planning inserts and look and for my rings to look a lot more cohesive. So I'm really excited for that. Um, and here we've got October. These are stickers from Every Minute Story that I just really thought were so cute for the for Halloween. So then I've got a couple more months in here through January. Oh, and this goes to March, actually, these inserts. 
but I'll probably stop using them in January. After that monthly view, we have weeklies. These are undated um, by Infinite Lotus that came in the sub box. And I think these are now available on her website. Uh, but I thought that these were really handy and these are really these have really been holding me down until I get my dated weekly inserts to start in 2025. After my weeklies, we go into my dailies. My, these dailies are printables that I picked up from Rosie Papatri. I have a discount code for the shop in the description below. And these stickers are again from Every Minute Store. I just think they were so cute. And I've been trying to be a little bit more decorative with my, um, even planning in my dailies. Um, and as you'll see, they kind of just go on. These dailies have a seven to eight schedule, priorities to do and notes, added some fun washi and just trying to kind of like make things more lively, even in my dated. Some days I don't plan very much. Some days I do, and that's okay. I, I, I love personal rings because I never feel guilty about not planning on a given day like this day. Don't feel guilty about it. It's just such a small piece of paper. I'm fine. It, I feel fine if I didn't plan in it. All right, so I have a bookmark here that it's like a today bookmark. I'm trying to use more of my fun, cute little Halloween stickers. And I have inserts printed through the end of the month. Until we get into November. All right, after that, I have a goals section. I am trying to do a digital detox. It is very difficult. I have so many photos on my phone. It's not great. So one of my winter projects is to focus on detoxing and just erasing things on my phone that I'm not using or that I don't want to keep. I was thinking about also trying these infinite lotus monthly habit tracker stickies but i found it i i guess i was keeping track in different places and this became obsolete and i stopped using it yeah i stopped like five days into the month so yeah my vision board is in here my word of the year and some examples of how i've lived that word of the year are in here oh my gosh i need to add adopted a puppy because if that's not nourishment for the soul i don't know what is after that i have some really I, these there are these really cool infinite lotus 90 day plan inserts oh i'm sorry these are blank grid blank tomoy river paper in grid from sterling ink that i also have in here like for notes or just anything the this is a 90 day planner from infinite lotus that i really want to get into we're kind of october is like the start of the last quarter of the year so i kind of i feel like maybe i missed my window but i kept a couple in here because i would like to explore these a little bit more and we're again we're still in our goal section after that, I punched and folded my goal, my, I'm sorry, my tending list by, from my Power Sheets Cultivate What Matters goal planner. And I have that in here just to help me keep track. I actually need to update it a little bit too. Adopting a puppy, it's not easy. I've got some weekly reflections for my goal planning that I'm keeping in here as well. And this is another Infinite Lotus um, insert that came in my sub box in my subscription box that was this was for the month of october this is how i was doing planning goal planning in september and july i've moved on from this insert insert this is a latua notes insert and so really i'm just instead of doing that and printing inserts i'm just going to stick my power sheets tending list so sorry about that my video got cut off so let's pick up where i left off after the tending list, I just have some of that Infinite Lotus, um, kind of like Cornell style grid inserts where I do reflection. Uh, for the month of September, August, July, and June, I was using this Latua Notes insert for goal planning, but I kind of got tired of printing those. And, and I don't know, I just figured why not put your tending list that 
perforates and you can easily take it out and put it in there. So for that reason, I stopped using these inserts, but it's important for me to refer to. After that section, I have a list, I'm sorry, my tracking section where I have order trackers for stationery, other birthdays, and some routines tracking. I haven't quite used this insert very much either, but I'm hoping to be more inspired as I keep using rings. Uh, but you know, like if I still can't figure this out, I might take it out, but I wanna give it some more time. I think it's a good idea. After that, I have a list and notes section. This is Sterling Ink Tomoe River Grid Notebook Paper that I just use for random lists. This is an Idea Keepers insert, things to buy insert books to read insert, and then just more of that sterling ink grid paper that I'm using for different things and different purposes. I took out some of that TRP just to keep it a little bit more pristine, and then I'm using that Cornell style paper from Infinite Lotus's sub box instead. And that's kind of all the inserts. In here, I've got, I picked up um, this sticker release book from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I just would love to use my stickers more. And so I'm hoping that keeping them in this booklet tucked into the back of my planner will be a good way for me to kind of remember and utilize them. This sticker release booklet is excellent. Things do not fall out of here. They stick extremely well to this. So I'm really, really happy with this purchase. And I still have a bunch more stickers in my stash that I want to add back here. But I think this will just be, again, a good way for me to utilize my stickers more. And so that's how things are going in personal rings. I am great doing great in some areas and not doing great with others. I'm pretty tired from walking my puppy so early in the morning. Um, so it's hard to be as consistent as I would like to, but I am trying and I'm hanging in there and I'm really proud of myself for doing that. I hope this was a, a good update. Um, I'd love to hear strategies or tips that you use to stay consistent, especially during those really busy and unexpected times. Thank you so much for watching y'all and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.